as a party today, we want to say we will not be party to the praise and worship choir that has been created, who have joined Zakayo and who are being used by Zakayo to bring back the taxes of the 2024 finance bill, who are, who are cheering as the finance bill 2023 is being brought back and Kenyans are going to be subjected to higher taxes. And here we are still cheering William Root. So we are saying as DAP, we cannot and we no longer find it tenable to continue being in a relationship with people who are no longer like-minded with us. You know, to answer process, Leo, Barua inaenda kwa registrar kwa eleza kumweleza kwamba sisi tumejiondoa katika azimio kuanzia leo so hiyo notice inapeano leo kuanzia leo hatuko azimio yeah. that we have resolved leo notice inatoka hatuko azimio tena wacha hao wawe kwa serikali na kwa opposition lakini sisi kama una DAP we identify with ourselves kama party yeye iko independent asimio tawe asimio tawe asimio and now we look tawe. forward now we look forward to campaigning for our candidate presidential candidate our party leader mheshimiwa Eugene Mamalwa na tunajua huko mbele tunaenda kuchukua serikali the our last line of defense in Kenya was the judiciary but the events of the last few weeks few days and the winning streak of one William Ruto from the Finance Act 2023 to the housing levy, which is one of the most oppressive taxes in the history of Kenya since the colonial hard tax, to the impeachment that was rushed through parliament and to, through the court. Kenyans now believe, just the way William Ruto has captured parliament, he has equally now put a lot of pressure on the judiciary <clears throat> And the judiciary has given in to this pressure. This is why we are saying he is an existential threat to our democracy because democracy is about the rule of law. The rule of law is about fair trial, is about independence of institutions. What we are seeing in Kenya today as we cheer William Ruto, because we saw some cheering yesterday, celebrating yesterday, but very many Kenyans are not celebrating with them. You cannot celebrate an emergence of a dictatorship. A dictator starts by capturing key institutions and cutting down dissent. The presidency, according to our constitution, was changed for one reason, that we do not have an imperial presidency in Kenya that we have both a president and his deputy elected by the people of Kenya. So by William Ruto removing an elected deputy president and telling us to celebrate a selected deputy president who is only loyal to him as we saw him swear, not the leader of the people of Kenya, but to Ruto who appointed him, not Kenyans, because Kenyans did not elect him. That is the beginning of undermining and eroding of our constitution. William Ruto is, a, what we are seeing in William Ruto is the margins of a strong man syndrome, where anyone standing before William Ruto will be crushed. We look forward to campaigning for our candidate, presidential candidate, our party leader, Mwishimiwa Eugene Mamalwa. We will have a presidential candidate for the elections of 2027, who is none other than our party leader, Eugene Wamalwa. Tunataka kuangalia namuna serikali mpya inaenda kuundwa 2027. Because tunataka a new government, ile inakuja, inaanza step one, kufukuza adani. Step one. Step two, kuabolish mamba housing levy. Na kurudishia watu, kuote pesa. Kolo mekua kenyanganyo pesa yao in the name of housing levy. Number three, Kurudisha NHIF, illegal deduction ambaye naendelea saina sike wanakata watu elifu mtatu, elifu kumi, pesa nyingi na kato kwa watu, atinaende kwa hiki, tinaitua shifa shifu. 
yote yetu tutaabolish na ile pesa imekatwa ya watu inarudishwa ya ine watu yote wamefanya mambo ya wizi lazima wawekwe ndani hakuna mtu atawacho to start an aggressive recruitment drive to prepare our party for the next election where the democratic action party will be fielding candidates in all positions from MCA to MP to women rep to governor to senator to the president and yours truly has been given that onerous task of carrying the flag into the presidential race of 10th of August 2027. There are very good reasons why the party has taken this position. We believe William Ruto is an existential threat to our democracy. William Ruto has, over the last two years, steadily been undermining and he has been eroding public confidence in our key democratic institutions. Today, if you ask any Kenyan whether they still have confidence in our parliament, they will tell you a big no. They will tell you tawe, like we say in this side of the country, because they believe the executive has captured parliament. And that is why parliament is able to do whatever William Ruto wants.